Hello guys, it's Ali and welcome to today's video. So I'm just coming on to share a bit of a haul that I picked up. Went to a car boot sale at the weekend and I found some really good bargains. I've got them at the side of me here. Just before I show you the charity shop things, I just wanted to show you this. Um, it's the Indigo Blue Mixed Media Special and it's number seven, I think. I bought this from Craft Stash and it was £15. But I'll show you what you get inside. Uh, I haven't opened it yet so just in case you like I love these box magazines I love indigo blue I think it's good value for the for the 15 pounds so you get the magazine I'm not gonna go all through the magazine but it's got lots of inspiration and ideas for mixed media and then you get some lovely papers and the, yeah they, they feel quite okay actually they don't feel too thin so you get a lot of papers you get two of each and then like i said you've got some cut apart and then you've got the inspiration in the magazine and then you get a indigo blue stencil which is really nice and then you get this gorgeous a4 stamp sass i love this all the script i just love it very vintage and lovely isn't it and then you get some sentiments oh you get two sheets black and white and then you get this little metal die which cuts out that little flower so i just wanted to show you that just in case uh, you you like these box magazines like i said i got it from craft stash i don't know whether they've still got it in stock but i ordered mine uh, it took about two days to come and then the only when i went on the website to order the magazine they had a sale on uh, sheena douglas things so i got two they came as a bundle five pound each they were you got the lovely stamps and then you got a stencil i'm not sure which one goes with which to be honest but yeah i know you got a stamp and a stencil and they were five pound for the two so i thought whilst i was ordering the magazine so that's them so they were from craft stash okay so i'll show you my charity shop haul now it's sorry car boot sale haul so the first thing i picked up was this oxford bookkeeping book it's blank it's just ledger pages yeah just they're a little bit sort of sepia not too dark i paid 20 pence for that then i got this this smells really really yucky really old and but it's a bit i liked it because the pages are quite thick um yeah it's a nice size to make envelopes and as such from but it's got a really horrible smell to it that was 50 pence and then i got this book um all my books now were 50 pence each so i got this one birds of heath and marshland 56 plates all in color i uh, don't know what year it's from it's a little inscription there let's have a look if it tells us this smells really musty as well um oh it's not that old 1962 so it's obviously been in somebody's shed and they're just like plates so you could i could probably fussy cut around these i don't know what, what else i'd use the pages for but i just spotted it and i thought for 50 pence the nice thick pages i can use them for something hopefully and yeah they're just plates so that's that one they both smell horrible then I found this one. This is Thornburn, Thornburn's Mammals with an introduction from David Attenborough. Uh, this book belongs to Jackie Charge. Right. This isn't an old one, I don't think. I don't know what year. 1974, first published. So, and again, these are just like plates. We cut these, you know, to make journal cards or different things i just thought for 50 pence i wasn't going to leave it behind lovely images this. yeah you could cut around these couldn't you 
have to have a think and see if there's any way I could sort of make envelopes or anything with them. So it's really lovely images. So that's that one, Thornburns Mammals. And then I found the other one, Thornburns Birds. I have already got a copy of this, but for 50 pence, I picked, the, I picked this one up as well. This is a really nice book. Again, the plates, what it smells. That's the only thing that I don't like about when you buy from car boot sales. Sometimes they smell. I don't know how to get rid of the smell, to be honest. But these, this is a lovely book. Like I said, I have got a copy of this, but when I seen it on the table for 50 pence, I thought I'm going to get, going to pick it up. Uh, could perhaps keep my other one and fussy cut from this one. Really lovely book. It's just the smell that I don't like. <laughs> I've used that on a journal page, I think, that image. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll use this and I'm going to fussy cut all these because I haven't got many birds fussy cut at the moment. So that's that one, Thornburns Birds. Then I spotted this, Deciduous Garden Trees and Shrubs. And it's just a little, quite a lot of text. And then we get to the coloured images. Like I said, 50 pence. Uh, I think it's stitched in this one. Yes, it is. So I'll be able to take the pages out double and use them in a journal. So it's really a bit glossy, but with a bit of ink over. Or could even put some gesso over it or something. Nice images, aren't they? So I'll be able to take that apart. So that's that one. Deciduous Garden Trees and Shrubs by Anthony Huxley. And then the last one that was on the table underneath a pile of books was the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. Again, this was 50 pence. I think all, I haven't looked for it to be honest, I think all the pages are in and it's a really nice grungy colour. It feels like all the pages are in. You've all seen this book before, I'm sure. Yeah, I've got a couple of copies of this now. I've struck quite lucky with this book in charity shops and like I said at the car boot sale I've seen it hiding underneath some like a big dictionary and I said how much is this one he said they're all 50 pence so I could have got more really but I couldn't because I haven't got much room left on the bookshelf so they were the books I picked up Um, I picked up, oh actually I've got two more little books here these were from another store these were two for a pound so 50 pence each this is mushrooms, uh, this is glossy, but I thought I might be able to cut some images out from this one. don't think, it, oh hang on, it might be stitched in that, I might be able to take the pages out, just seeing if it's stitched or glued. Let's see. Oh, it's stitched actually that's good so i can take those pages out so that's the mushrooms and then i got this one garden wildlife this is nice because you could make i could make some nice little you know journal cards with these or tags because they're just about the right size pages and you can leave the description on as well so i thought that was nice let's have a look if that's sewn in or stitched in i think this is sewn in as well hopefully Yes, it is. So I can take both of them apart. So they're the books that I picked up. Then I spotted these. There was like a basket full of just trims and it's just like a ribbon with a little dash on. That was 50 pence. And I also got it in green as well. They were and quite a bit on there, to be honest. So they were 50 pence. Uh, then I got I spotted some flowers. There was a lady that was selling a lot of card making stuff. Um, and these were just 20 pence each so I got them I got those glittery butterfly stickers I got them embossed butterfly stickers for 20 pence I couldn't walk past and leave them the them butterfly stickers I like these ones I like the color in them and then just some packs of flowers I think these are from home bargains I have had them before but I spotted them and I thought I'm not going to leave them for 20 pence and then there was this this was on the same stall as I got this this was 50 pence it's just like a 
bit like an eyelash but like a fringe trim yeah so i picked that up i thought that'll come in handy for something um then I, these were bargains um these were from not the same stall as it was another lady that was selling craft stuff and she had these two in a bag for one pound fifty these are the martha stewart ones that's like a corner punch and then that one is a border punch they were both in a plastic bag and they were two for one pound fifty i've not tried them yet i've tried these two and then she had these as well these were a pound each that's a big jigsaw cuts out a big jigsaw piece these work i've tried these that's that one so for a pound and then there was that one which is a big hexagon so i bought them so they were only a pound each which i thought was a great bargain and then the last thing i picked up we were just getting ready to go to the car and we spotted a few more cars had parked up this was in like a really grubby plastic bag so i've got rid of it and put them in here and it's just all vintage documents i haven't even been through them all properly yet um a lot of them are from where i live in worthing so it'd be interesting to go through these i did pay 10 pound for these but i thought it was well worth it because there's just there's all sorts in here there's lots and lots you know i wouldn't get all this for 10 pound 1952 1952 and i was interested because it's actually they were actually from uh, where i live city of brighton so yeah they do smell not very nice i don't know what's in that one like i said i haven't had a proper look through them all but they're just all vintage documents i thought they were well worth 10 pounds there's an absolute pile of them but the bag was i had to put the bag in the bin it was all ripped and horrible they've obviously had these in storage somewhere 1953 so there's just loads there there's all them well worth 10 pound i think so i got them like i said i've just put it in this till i can sort them out so that is it then guys that's my goodies that i picked up at the car boot sale at the weekend i was very happy i didn't spend much money at all i think uh, all of it was probably uh probably got everything for about 20 pound including my vintage ephemera so yeah keep your eyes open at your car boot sales i love nothing more than going for a mooch round a car boot sale at the weekend especially if the weather's nice so as always guys thank you so much for stopping by take care and i'll see you all soon in my next video bye for now